이제 슬슬 가게 문 닫아야지. 시온 녀석은 어디 갔지? I feel like that was probably Yuri. <laughs> Not sure though. But anyway, hi guys. Welcome to Nameless. The one thing you must not, you must recall. I was about to say must not recall, but that would be the that would defeat the purpose of this game. Um, so our uh our little cutie boy here, who is no longer cute at all, is uh has uh gotten quite obsessive over me or the heroine i guess whatever you want to call it and um yeah it's getting it's getting bad and then we decided to ditch him in order to study with our friends at spanjul um or study in quotations i guess and then now we i think I think we're like, it rained, yeah, it started raining. I had to think about what happened. Um, it started raining, and then we have to go figure out where Yunho is, and now I have to check and see where he probably will be. So, yeah. This should be, uh, this should be fun. I think it was this save. Hey, Mavon. Hello, cutie. Hello. Yeah. So, he probably went home or go to the classroom. Personally, I'm gonna go to the classroom just because I think he's obsessed enough to just wait for me there. And I'm, I'm pretty sure he's gonna end up doing that. So I'm gonna go to the classroom. I feel nervous. I don't think he'd still be in the classroom, but there's no way to be sure. There was no way to know since he didn't like, since he didn't take the call. But since the academy's closer to here, I should go back to that classroom, Owl Claws. Why would you jump on the back of my chair? You don't have room up there. You do this every time. <laughs> you don't have room. It's a fold-out chair. Ugh, she always ends up clawing my neck when she does that, because she just digs her claws in, and it's like, ah. But, and then she, like, she jumps down, like, immediately after she realizes that, oh, I hurt my master, and it's like, yeah, no shit, you have claws. Anyway, uh, academy's closer, go back to the classroom. Hey, you said you were going to the bathroom, huh? You're leaving. Yeah, sorry. There's somewhere I have to be right now. I have to go first. Sorry. Hey, hey! See you tomorrow. So he called me, but I came out of the cafe. The rain poured so much that I could barely see. There was almost no one on the streets. I did have an umbrella, but I ran, so my clothes quickly got wet. The people inside the building stare at me, running in the rain. Yunho, you're not alone, are you? <sighs> I was out of breath from running. My legs were covered in mud. I had no idea it would rain this much. The pouring rain blurred my sight. I squinted and looked around. Huh? I saw a figure crouch down in front of the gate. I couldn't see properly because of the thick rain, so I went closer. The closer I got, the more familiar the figure looked. Hey, so I chose the right answer, I think. That's not Yunho, is it? I went right in front of the small boy, just in case. I saw familiar blonde hair soaked in the rain. You, Yunho! It was Yunho. He was sat still in the pouring rain. Yunho raised his head at my voice. Oh, master. Oh, he's fucking pissed. Oh shit. Thick raindrops fell on his white face. I quickly le leaned the umbrella and covered his already wet body. Thanks to that, dry parts of my body became wet too. Both Yunho and I were wet dogs. Master. Yunho looked at me and stood up, but he faltered. Yunho! I dropped the umbrella I was holding and helped Yunho up. He wasn't just soaked, but his body was cold, too. He must have been in the rain for long, the way he was shivering. How long were you here? You're completely soaked! I don't know what to say. Yunho slowly raised his head. His face was pale as a ghost, and his lips were purple. I quickly laid my hand on his forehead. Even in this cold rain, his forehead was burning hot. You! A fever! I was more worried than accusing. I felt like crying seeing him sick. I was about to help Yunho up. I was about to help Yunho walk as he stumbled. Master, let's go home and talk. Let's go home first. Huh? 
I helped Yunho and tried to get a cab. He is small and cute, but he was bigger than me, so it wasn't easy helping him. How is he small and cute, but bigger than you? How does that work? He must have felt like fainting, so he completely leaned on me and breathed shallowly. A taxi approached us from afar. I knew you'd come. What? Yunho muttered in a small voice. Master, I thought you no longer needed me. What? what do you mean? Before you left without me, Yunho said with a weak voice. You didn't even reply. You have this cunning smile on your face! Fuck you! So I thought you no longer needed me. So I was going to be in the rain and disappear. Yunho all feverish smiled weakly. But I knew Master would come. Thank, thank God that you didn't abandon me. I'm glad. You, Yunho? At his weak voice, I felt confused. Meanwhile, the taxi arrived in front of us. I helped Yunho up and opened the door. Let's go home first, okay? Yunho didn't say anything and just went into the cab. Yunho still stumbled. Yunho still mumbled in the cab. Even while mumbling, he didn't get lo- Even while mumbling, he didn't let go of my hand. Don't leave. Don't abandon me. Stay by my side. He kept saying things like that. I hugged him tight. His fever is really high. Will he be okay? He was moaning painfully from the high fever. I came back home and found Lance and Red waiting for us. Yuri was out. The two hurried to get some medicine after seeing Yunho while wet and almost unconscious. They did fight while leaving the room, but I'm glad they went to the pharmacy. Meanwhile, I dried him with a towel and laid him in my bed. <coughs> oh, is your throat sore? Wait here. I stood up to get some warm water. Master. I was about to get up when Yunho grabbed my arm. Is he sick anywhere else? I worried and sat right by his side again. Is there anything you need? Yunho? I'm cold. Yunho shivered from the coldness and said, I felt so bad seeing that I closed my eyes. If I knew this would happen, I would never have left him behind. I regret it again and again. Abusive relationship issues right here. Just saying. And it's really bugging me a lot. And it's also creeping me out. I'll go to the other room and get more blankets. Wait here, okay? I stroked his wet hair and soothed him. Don't go. Yunho didn't let go of my clothes. His eyes were shaking. What do I do? Damn it. What do I do? <laughs> um. Put it here. Ugh. <sighs> He doesn't want me to go. And if I bring him a blanket, it'll just break the storyline, I'm pretty sure. So if I- But if I lie beside Yunho, that'll make him feel better and make him warm and advance the storyline, probably. <laughs> so I'm gonna choose that. His purple lips on his white face were trembling. He was feverish, but his face was so pale. I got scared at seeing his face like that. This happened because I wasn't by his side. From now on, I have to stay by his side. Fucking Christ! This is gonna lead to a bad end. Alright, I won't go anywhere. I went up to the bed and was about to lie down next to him when Yunho got up. His body was shivering and burning hot at the same time. My body almost felt cold beside his heat. Aww. <sighs> I can't help it when he looks like that. He's so cute. God. And he looks so up feverish and like upset, but he looks cute, but he's also fucking terrifying. What do I do? I hugged him so that he wouldn't have to feel nervous. I'm not leaving. I wanted him to know this even though I didn't put it into words. It's fine. I felt him breathe fast. His body in my arms was much smaller than I thought. He hugged me so hard I felt like suffocating. Y yun ho He's hazy from the fever, but he was still so strong. Where does this tiny body get such strength? No matter how hard I tried, yun -ho didn't let go of me. His hands were trembling. What is making yun -ho so nervous? Don't go, yun -ho whispered. I put up with the suffocating feeling and let him hug me. Oh no, his arms. You can see the scars on his arms. 
Oh, yeah, you can see what the abuse was like on his arms. And that's probably why he's freaking the fuck out, because he was abandoned by his previous master, even though he was such a good boy. Or he tried to be such a good boy. And that's why he's trying so hard with Yuri, with Eri, is because he feels like if he's not a good boy, then Eri will abandon him. Uh, and that's why he's always so clingy and wanting to be by her side all the time. And it's just... Uh, conflicting feelings right now! I could feel his heart beating. All I can do for him right now is hug him. Okay, I won't. I won't go anywhere. I was careful so my voice won't tremble when I said that. It was uncomfortable, but I didn't say it. I just let Yun-ho hug me. Don't go. Don't go further away from me. Okay, I won't go. Master, don't go. Don't leave me. I'll do anything. If Master wants me to, I'll do anything. Yun-ho hugged me tighter and continued. It was uncomfortable, but I didn't say anything again. Right now, I just wanted to let you know do whatever he wanted. I felt like I was being punished for leaving him behind when he felt so nervous. Right now, my heart ached more than anything else. <coughs> Yunho coughs. His coughs are getting worse. I was worried, so I was about to peer at his face, but his arms caught my eyes. Huh? There's something on his wrist. As I moved my gaze up his arm, I saw his shoulder, too. The marks starting from his shoulder to his wrist were scars. I have a lot of scars on my body. These were the scars he talked about before. Yunho once talked about these scars as if they were nothing after he became human. Even when he was a doll, he had a lot of scars. I knew that from the moment I opened the package that contained him. But the scars on a doll's body and a human's body were completely different. I could see the scars screaming the pain Yunho couldn't when he was a doll. And the scars were a bit odd even considering that he's a used doll. Those aren't just accidental scars. Yeah, now you're realizing that he was abused before. And it messes with your psyche. Which is why Yunho's so... mentally unstable. It felt like someone purposely gave him those scars. They became more prominent once he became human. Over old scars were newly made ones. It was as if he was branded. Brands that anticipated Yunho's nervousness were all over his body. What really happened with Yunho and his previous owner? Yunho. I felt like crying at that moment. I wanted to cover the scars I saw. Don't look back on those painful scars. I won't leave your side. I wanted to tell him this. He was this hurt, and I was thinking of how I could get rid of him. I was cold to Yunho so that he wouldn't cling on to me any longer. I was ashamed of myself. I heard his breathing and carefully opened my mouth. I'm sorry I left you today. I talked to him kindly as I did when he was a doll. Master, uh... Don't forget me. Dolls are forgotten and abandoned. I don't want to be abandoned again. You know, I'll be a good boy. And with those last words, he loosened up and closed his eyes. I can feel him loosening his strength more and more. Ugh. Yunho fell back on the bed and soon fell asleep. I see Yunho closing his eyes and breathing softly. I covered him with the blanket carefully so he doesn't wake up. I felt bad to see him cough every now and again even though he's asleep. I lowered myself and crouched down beside the bed, and I patted his back and hugged him slightly. You know, Yunho, I heard you worked at Banjul. Tay told me. I whispered to Yunho, who was already asleep. I don't care if it's something little. Next time I want you to talk to me about things like that. I want you to live for yourself a bit more. If I can, I want to help you do that. So, don't overwork yourself. I won't go anywhere. Yunho. I can't understand you completely, but I'll try to understand. I'll try to embrace your heart. I forgot it was me who brought you. I was the one who chose you. I'm sorry. Mm. Master? I heard someone wake me up from my sleep. Is it already morning? I tried to open my eyes. Yun-ho. I saw Yun-ho's familiar face. 
His white round face filled my sight. Oh, come to think of it, how do you feel? I abruptly got up from bed while remembering that. I'm all better. R really Yunho nodded. He looked much better than yesterday, but I wasn't relieved that. But I wasn't relieved and put my hand on his forehead. He didn't get surprised and back away from my sudden reaction. I didn't feel the heat I felt yesterday. Thank God his fever's gone. <sighs> Don't stand in the rain like that. I was so worried. I'm okay. Sorry. But I was happy. Master, you came for me. Happy. That moment I remember the scars I saw on his body. I think the pain from his body continued to his heart. My heart aches thinking of his scars. That's natural. How could I not worry? Okay. Yinho smiled slightly. And... I heard everything. What all did you hear? Wait, was that like everything that I said that I wouldn't leave and that I would always be there to help him and whatnot? Was Did he hear all that? What? <laughs> Never mind. Oh, today it's just fried eggs. I thought you'd be sick of rabbit shapes by now. Yunho evaded and changed the subject. And I thought he'd grab my arm as usual, but he just stood there smiling. I feel like the strange air that surrounded him the last couple of days has disappeared. And from now on... Yes? From now on, I'll... try. So I can be a man worthy to be by your side. Aww. <laughs> God damn it. I think he finally realized that I wasn't going to abandon him, and so now he's feeling more comfortable to be more like himself. Ah, oh, good. Everybody needs somebody like that. You will stick with them even when they're t having issues, and let them know that it's okay. Man. It's important to have that. Ah, oh, memories. God, they're flooding my mind again. God damn it, Yunho, don't bring up these things. Ugh. Don't bring up this stuff. Ugh, damn it. Got tears in my eyes. Oh my god, he is the character that I relate to the most when, right at the moment. <laughs> Considering I know exactly what all of that feels like. I wasn't abused in the same way necessarily, but... I was abused in something similar. For a big portion of my life. And that's all being brought up through this fucking character. God damn it. Okay. What? Yinho's red cheeks turned a bright red. I'm glad Master thinks of me, but I realized yesterday that I shouldn't worry you. Oh. Instead, I wanted to find something I could do for you. Yinho talked like an adult. He seemed to have aged at least five years overnight. Come eat first. I'll go out now. And, oh. The bus. I'm still getting on it with you. Although he's suddenly acting like an adult, he still cares for me. I smiled along with him. I think Yunho's more relaxed around me now. I feel a good change is coming. No, the change might have already happened. Yes, I would like to save. Uh, I will put it here. Breakthrough. Aww. Did, is everything gonna be okay now? Child me, okay. Uh, don't throw it away! Uh! The little me is wailing. Oh my god, look at this. It's all worn out and dirty. Huh? I'll buy a new one for you, so let's throw this away. No, I like this! Oh, right, you saw the new one on TV, right? I'll get you that one, so stop crying. No, no, I like this one! Ugh, she's at it again. This is too worn out and it's ugly. Besides, feathers fall out, so it's not good for you. 
Don't be like that and let's go to the toy store with Daddy and I. I'll get you everything you want, so let's just throw this away, please? No, a new one's different! What do you mean a new one's different? A new one's better. No, don't throw it away! <sighs> All right, I won't. I lost. Who's going to win over that stubbornness of yours? But it's too dusty, so just put it in that box. If you lay it around anywhere, I'll throw it away without telling you, all right? Here. I heard all the other kids get sick of these things often. Are you like your grandfather, or are you just greedy? Mom scolded me, but I pretended not to hear anything. I just hugged the doll tightly in my arms. Let's always be together. I promised we'll always be together, so I'll never abandon you. Yoon-ho, look at this! It's a chick-shaped bread! Isn't it cute? It reminded me of you, so I bought it! Wanna try it? A girl gave Yoon-ho a plastic bag with a picture of a yellow chick. No, it's fine. Yoon-ho refused immediately. He used to just ignore them without saying anything, but he at least refuses now. Yoon-ho... The girl did ask him if he wants to try, but she definitely wanted him to. She was about to cry. Isn't Yoon-ho a bit weird these days? He was so cute before. Yeah, it's... he's like the Ice Prince. The girls whispered. After that fuss in the rainy to After that fuss in the rain on the rainy day, Yunho changed a lot. The one time they use in and I've been wanting them to see use in instead of off. They use it in the wrong area where it should be on. Ugh. Just as the girls whispered, he no longer treats others with his adorable face. At the same time, he no longer had to be uncomfortably surrounded by other girls like before. Is he being nice to just me? But he is always kind and warm to me like he was before. No, actually, he seems to care for me more than before. He gives me his lovely smile often, too. Wow, he's like a miniature ice prince. I like that I can hog the chick, but I do feel sorry for the other girls, though. I don't think you're the one hogging him. Soe and Shinbi stared at Yunho and I. Yunho was strangely still kind to my friends. Shinbi muttered while looking at the disheartened girls far away. I heard that chick bread is good. Oh, then I should have taken it and given it to you. No, no, that'd be harsher on them. They gave it to you, they gave it for you to eat, so to imagine seeing you give it to someone else, they might really cry then. But she didn't forget to tell him to secretly give her all the presents next time. <laughs> really, it's so soey. Suddenly, the classroom door opened, and a girl I've never seen before peeped her head in. Uh, is Yunho here? Who's she? I've never seen her before. We all stared at the unfamiliar girl who came to our class. Yunho, someone's looking for you. Yunho went out to the hallway while we were all tilting our heads. And a moment later, Yunho came back after talking briefly with the girl. What's up? Oh, it's nothing. It can't be nothing. You guys talked for a while. What's up? Isn't she in another class? Did she declare her love or something? What? What? Ah, uh, no. As I shouted out, Yunho said no loudly. Oh, if that's not true, then why are you so defensive, huh? As Soe kept on suspecting, Yunho let out a small sigh. He hesitated, but soon reluctantly talked. It's... He hesitated and started talking. And after a while... Mystery study group? It was the club Yunho told us about. Yeah. Oh, the chick's getting pretty brave. He didn't tell you either? I was a bit surprised too. He used to report to me every single detail of his day, but now he must be back to normal. There's been a lot of things Yunho's been doing recently. I haven't joined the club, but they asked me to help read tarot cards this festival. But why are they suddenly asking you? You know how to read tarot cards? No, I've never tried it. Then why? A little knowledge can be a dangerous thing, Shinbi muttered creepily. But Shinbi's right. It's a bit weird asking someone who's never dealt tarot cards to read them. Well, actually, last week while passing the hallway, I saw an old man following a girl from behind, so I told him not to do that. Then the girl looked surprised and thanked me, saying that I got rid of something that's always followed her. But I later found out that she was the president of the Ma Mystery Study Club, so she's been constantly asking me to join the club. I kept on refusing, so she asked me to just help her for the festival. Oh. At hearing about the old man, I remembered something. Come to think of it, I was forgetting. Yunho has a special talent. He can speak to animals and spirits. 
I remembered the cat incident that happened before. Oh man, what's all that? Ah, <laughs> well... So he asked me what, she what he was talking about, but I pretended not to know anything. So what did you say? Are you going to do it? No, of course I refused. Why? If I participate in the festival, I'll it'll get too busy. Then I won't be able to see you often. I didn't have to ask who he meant by you. I purposely turned my head. What a shame. Huh? I think it's a shame he won't be able to see the chick reads. I think it's a shame we won't be able to see the chick read tarot cards. I think it'd suit him. I imagine Yunho wearing a big hooded cloak and mixing tarot cards. I could picture him saying your fortunes for today is in a low voice. I do want to see that too. I think it would be fun. Me too, I'm curious. You wanna see? Huh? Yunho quietly asked my opinion. Me reading fortunes. If you wanna see it, I will try. No, you don't have to. I just imagined it. <laughs> Even if you want to see it just a little bit, Yinho said with strong determination. Shinbi and Soe looked at us too. I felt like breaking out in cold sweat. Yinho doesn't act like a kid ever since he's changed, but instead sometimes he becomes serious like this. When he's like this, it's harder to refuse than when he was acting like a baby. Oh, you don't have to be so serious. So you're basically saying you can get the moon if it's for her. I get it. Now then, no need to ask, think about it more. You'll read tarot cards with the Mystery Study Club, right? Huh? The chick just said so. He said he'd do it, right? Yes. I feel like I forced him into it. I feel a bit guilty, so I looked at Yunho, but he was clenching both his fists. It's fine. I'll do my best, so you have to come see me. Oh, okay. Yunho said brightly as usual. Is it better than doing nothing? Since he said he'd do it, I decided to support him. I opened the front door, but I only saw darkness. No one must be here. I'll turn the lights on. Yinho ran into the dark living room and turned on the lights. Everyone's really busy. Tay must be at the cafe and Red is in a play. Lance has a government meeting? Yinho counted with his fingers and told me everyone's schedules. Everyone must be busy with the academy and work. And for some reason, Yuri comes home late, too. He used to come late sometimes, but he was never always late. Even if I ask him where he's been, he... Even if I ask him where he'd been, he just gives me a smile and never answers. Probably because he's out screwing some women that aren't you, because he realizes that you chose Yunho. The house is quiet. My voice rang throughout the empty house. If the boys were here, they would have all come out to the living room and started chatting, but not today. I lay down on the sofa and looked around the living room. I suddenly felt lonely while seeing the empty living room. I was so used to this when I lived alone, so I didn't feel it. It's been a long time since I've... <coughs> Excuse me. It's been a long time since I felt such silence after Grandpa died. Master, what are you doing? Yinho changed into comfortable clothes and sat beside me. Nothing. I was just wondering if the house had been this quiet before. Do you feel lonesome? Hmm? Yunho suddenly asked after listening to what I said. Lonesome? I thought for a moment. Am I? Is this feeling lonesome? Am I not enough? Yunho cut into my thoughts and said with a gloomy voice. Huh? What do you mean? Red, Lance, Yuri, Tay, you like having everyone together? Oh. It felt like Yunho will turn back to his dark side any moment now. It's nothing like that. Just, the house is always noisy and it's quiet today. Yunho's face fell more at what I said. You know, I'm always thankful that you're by my side. Master, I just felt a bit lonely with the house feeling different today. Yunho looks at me. He seemed to ask me again he seemed to ask me again if that's true with his red eyes shining like rubies. I barely managed to smile at Yunho. I'll try harder so you don't feel lonely. Oh no, there's no need. This is natural. Like in the academy, Yunho was burning with determination again. I felt tangled emotions hearing Yunho say he'll try harder for me. The day after he got sick from getting caught in the rain, Yunho said to me, I remember he said he'd try harder for me. Is he still feeling nervous? I told him I wouldn't leave him for sure, but I guess he can't be assured for good. How can I make him feel assured? Should I tell him what's really in my mind? You know, Yunho, since you asked me if I'm lonely, if I think about it, I only felt lonely for a short time. The time I was really lonely was the time after Grandpa died and before the, and before these boys turned human. 
It wasn't even a couple of years. Yes, it was! It was three years! You said it was three years! Three years! <sighs> when Grandpa was alive, I was never lonely. I did miss my parents, but I was happy living with Grandpa. Master, what are you thinking about? Yunho stared at me while I was drowned in my thoughts. Oh, I'm thinking of Grandpa. Oh, your Grandpa? Yeah. Yunho closed his eyes and breathed deeply, and abruptly opened his eyes again. Master's Grandpa isn't in this house. His soul must have gone to a better place. I was surprised at his unexpected words. Right, he could see souls. I stood right up. R really He's not here? Yes. Okay. It would have been nice to talk to him, but he's at a better place and nothing's better than that. I felt sad and relieved at the same time. Master, Grandpa is a really important... Grandpa is really important to you, right? Yeah, he's family. Family? Yes. I see, Yinho whispered. For a while, he nodded by himself. I was worried if he was having bad thoughts again, but he smiled back. I just looked at him as he got up, saying he has to wash. What was he thinking about? It bothered me. I came back to my room to change into comfortable clothes. I took out the things in my pockets to change, and my phone rang just in time. Oh, the phone! I hastily took the call. The number says it's from overseas. Probably my parents. Hello? Hello, Ari? Oh, Mom! How are you? I'm fine, thanks to you. What's up? Nothing's up, just catching up. You must be busy. You always say that. You remember we told you we'd come... We'd go back after this finishes? Well, I'm sorry. Something's come up, and I don't think we can go. Mom called and apologized right away. I think she said something similar a couple months ago. She told me their current project was in its final stage and she'd come to see me soon. But something else has come up now. Well, I was expecting this. Oh, okay, I'm fine. Don't worry about me. I was a bit upset, but I purposely tried to sound indifferent. I've gotten used to not being able to see my parents often ever since I was little. I'm sorry. It's really fine. Instead, I'll... Can you come he... Can you come here for a sec? Oh, Mom, you sound busy. I'm sorry. I'll call often. I have to go. I heard over the phone someone calling Mom. She must be busier than I thought. S yeah, say hi to Dad for me. All right, then take care. Okay. Mom hung up. My smartphone said we talked for less than a minute. My calls with my parents were always this way. I haven't talked to them in months, but we never chat. As expected, they can't come again. They're always busy. It's not the first time they've canceled coming back. <sighs> then they really won't come back until the end of the year. Well, I guess it's a good thing. I can't exactly show them the house, so... This is good. I finished changing and plopped down on the bed. It's good since she won't find out about the boys. I tried to smile by thinking that. That moment, I heard a knock. Master, can I come in? It's Yunho. Huh? Yeah, what's up? Yunho peeped through the door. There's a problem I can't solve. Could you help me? A problem you can't solve? It's the exam soon, so I'm trying to prepare for it. I was studying. Yunho was holding the biology textbook. Oh, the exams. I forgot. You're studying really hard. He lowered his head a bit at what I said. Although I'm not as good as Lance, I wanted to get good grades so I don't embarrass you. People have been calling Yunho Lance Jr. because of his attitude at the academy these days. If he gets good grades, he'll really be Lance's copy. Anyways, would it be okay asking me? I have about the same grades as Zoe. But I'm proud that he started studying by himself. That's a fantastic mindset. I'm happy to help. Come here, let's solve it together. Holding the textbook, Yunho ran towards me and sat beside my bed. I thought about going out to the living room, but I was already sitting on my bed, so I decided to stay put. Yunho soon came up to the bed, too. Aww, look how cute they are! They're so adorable! We soon forgot to study and started fooling around on the bed. Yunho was laughing, and so was I. I felt like we were in our own little world. I haven't laughed and had fun with Yunho like this in a long time. It was finally time for the exams. Oh shit, better quick save. <sighs> well, I'm nervous. Look, Zoe, did you study? I, I, a l what? She looks terrified. Zoe sat lifelessly with her arms spread around and stared blankly at the ceiling. 
I could see that her eyes weren't focusing on anything. She looks like a zombie. So, Zoe? Just leave her. She says it's her way of controlling her mind. Controlling her mind? She says she has to prepare for the impending doom, freeing her soul or something. Uh, <laughs> I see. I looked around and found some other kids following Zoe. I heard someone recommending it, saying you feel peaceful if you give everything up. That is very true, you really do, because at that point you're like, fuck it. And sometimes it works out and sometimes it doesn't. Like when I failed my communications class. <laughs> my final exam for that, I got like a 48%. <laughs> it was bad. And then I didn't hand in a 25% essay, because I couldn't get it done and just... <sighs> College, man. It's more brutal than high school. Everyone's leading a tough life. I felt my phone vibrate in my pocket. I must have forgotten to turn it off. I took out the phone, thinking I'd turn it off as soon as I checked the text. Good luck on the exams, master! Aww, he's so looking cute! You know wished me good luck through the text. It was cute that he sent me a text even though he was sitting next to me. I texted back right away. You too! Seriously, that's like the first text I've sent him. For the whole exchange. I saw Yoon Ho by my side. He smiled with his eyes. We looked at each other for a while and smiled. Now the exams are about to start, so put your books away. Now, let's prove how much I've studied! Quick save. Uh, quick save. <laughs> okay, start. Tae, your Yoon Ho Lance and Red were originally dolls. Yes. Yunho's nickname is Fried Chicken. No. There's a piano at Banju. Yes. Mr. Hobbins, Banju's manager, has a cat. Yes. The sun rises from the east and sets in the west. Yes. There's a piano at Banju. Yes. The female lead character and the dolls all have smartphones. Yes. Mr. Yujin, the school nurse, has worked at a pharmaceutical company in the past. I th think so. The principal of Kroby Academy lives at the floor above the female lead character's house. Yes. Red is a doll made with a magical girl theme. No. 10 out of 10! Woo! Got an A+. Plus. Yay. Yunho's Diary 3 has discovered. Has been discovered. Okay. Diary? Uh, no. That's mine. Um. Yunho? Nope, doesn't say on the status. Okay, maybe it's in the extras. This is how I've overcome another obstacle in my life. Zoe's memoir, chapter 18. Exams are my enemy. If that memoir comes out, I'll buy one from you before it goes out of print. What are you talking about? It'll become a bestseller right away and stay on the charts for a long time. <laughs> Whatever, I'm free now. At the word free, Zoe came back to life. Zoe, who was lifelessly lying down, stood right up from her seat. That's right! Do you want to go hang out somewhere? Let's pig out! You stuffed yourself yesterday. Sorry, not today. I have something to do. What? You traitor! Where are you going without me? I'm not going anywhere. I just have a pile of laundry I want to take care of today. I haven't done housework in a long time because of the exams. That's like me every time I'm in school. <laughs> Except with absolutely everything. Tay and Yunho have volunteered to take care of some things for a while. I was planning to help out today and make up for all the things I felt sorry about. Alright, you independent girl. But you have to hang out with me later, alright? You have to! <laughs> alright. Good luck. Don't worry too much. Yeah, okay. Soe looked disappointed and left the classroom with Shinbi. As soon as Soe and Shinbi left, Yunho came to me and sat next to me as if he'd been waiting. How was the exam? Ugh, it was hard as always. How about you? Uh, I'm not sure. Yunho laughed sheepishly. You must be tired. Hurry and go rest. Yunho whispered so no one heard. I nodded. I really felt the exhaustion creep in after I relaxed. With Yunho silently clinging on to me, I left the classroom. Oi! I heard a loud voice from afar. I turned my head and found Red running towards us. You guys are going now, too? I'm lucky today. Let's go together! Shh, shh, people were here! Sure enough, some kids were looking at us. He's already famous, but since he's yelling and running towards us, everyone stared. It's nice to go home together, but if he yells like that, people might find find out that we live together. 
I don't think it's a good idea to go together, Red. I told Red while peering around. Red seemed to ask why. <laughs> hey, where are you going? Oh, hi, Tay. Before I knew it, Tay was beside Red. Where are you two going? Tay pointed at me and Yunho standing side by side as he spoke. I quickly got away from Yunho, and I see that everyone is paying attention to us. We'll all go our separate ways! <laughs> as I said that out loud, some people stopped staring and went their ways. <laughs> Alright, but how are you going home? Exams ended and you're not going out? Tay smiled and said. Seeing Tay, Yunho, and Red gathered together, the kids started sl walking slowly around us. Some even stopped to stare. I was very uncomfortable with the situation, but Tay seemed to enjoy it. Ugh, I hate it. <laughs> There's so much housework to do. I have to go wash the dishes, do the laundry. I didn't do anything because of the exam, so I have a lot of work to do. What are you going- Where are you going, Tay? Come to think of it, I think Tay said he doesn't have work today. He said Mr. Hobbin specifically gave him the day off today. Then will Tay go out somewhere? Uh, that was the plan, but I changed my mind. I'll just go home. Aw, I, th I think he secretly wants to invite you out after the exams, but but I think he's gonna help you in the house instead with the housework. Ah! <laughs> he's so subtle and cute. I can't help it. He's just, I need to do him next after Lance though, because I don't, I need just, after Lance. I already said I was gonna do Lance next. So doing Lance, then doing Tay. Cause, ah, baby, I need to do you. That sounds really bad when I think about it. I mean do their routes, not the gutter stuff. God damn it. What? There's a kitten at home, and I have a feeling she'll ruin all the dishes and clothes today. Uh Tay grinned. He didn't talk around he did talk around it, but surely that kitten is me. But what did he mean by ruin? When I lived by myself I didn't really care about housework, but now Mama Tay's there to nag me all the time. He looks so happy every time he points out how clumsy I am with housework. I'll go care for my cat today. Yeah, I knew it! He's so cute! And he's, so cool. <laughs> ah. he's the one that likes he's really sweet and teases you and is very subtle about how his about his advances. It's beautiful. I love it. I love it so much. Oh god. I feel like I feel like I'm just putting it out there as to what my type is right now. <laughs> if I was to have a type. God damn. I stared at Tay with my red face and he smiled happily. On the other hand, there was one more thing Red wanted to ask. Huh? Tay, you have a cat? There's a cat in our house? You and I live together and I've never seen a cat- Ow! Something came flying towards Red at his stupid question. What? what was that? I looked at where the rock came from and I saw Lance walking toward us. What are you all doing? You're all blocking the way. Move, please. You just threw so- What? Hey! Th this isn't just a bag! It was Lance's bag that hit Red's head and fell to the ground. Lance picked it up indifferently and emptied it. It was packed with thick books. Slippers must not be enough for him now. My bag was too heavy anyways. It was too heavy to carry, so I just threw it. It must have hit your head. I'm sorry. What he said didn't make any sense, but he didn't blink once. Don't lie, man! You put in those books on purpose! Red fumed, but he looked at me once and made a weird face as if he remembered he had something to say to me. He really is moody. Oh right, Yuri texted me today and said we should eat something nice together at home today since exams are over. He asked if fried chicken sounds good. <laughs> the exam with the with Yunho's nickname being fried chicken was it like a foreshadow to the fact that we'd be having fried chicken for dinner potentially? Because if so, that is, that is perfectly okay. At his words, I quickly looked around. Thankfully, there were a lot of people around, but no one seemed to have heard. How could you say together at home out loud like that, Red? Ugh. Lance must have felt the same thing as he sighed. Um, aren't you going home? Oh. Yunho grabbed my arm. Yunho must be aware of all the gazes, too. Yeah, I should get out of here. Oh, I, I should. Then everyone, goodbye! Okay, bye. Hmm? Where's she going? Ugh. Everyone except Red, who was still being slow, said goodbye to each other and headed their ways. Well, it was more like see you later than goodbye. I hurriedly left the gate. Ugh, I can't eat anymore. I'm done. 
After I got home, I rested for a bit and rolled up my sleeves. The boys all came home just in time. Thanks to that, I was able to finish the housework quickly with Tae and Yunho's help. And when Yuri came home last, we ordered fried chicken and ate together. I felt much better now that the exams were over and from being full. I felt drowsy from being so stuffed. Master, are you finished? Should I get you a cup of tea? No, I'm fine. I'm too full even for tea. If I eat chicken every day, won't my muscles get really big? Excuse me. <laughs> but your waistline will, too. Yuri, weren't the chickens expensive? Everyone was rubbing their full stomachs and, looked satis and looking satisfied. But I suddenly remembered that Yuri paid and felt a bit worried. Five boys and one girl. I think we ate almost five chickens. I is he fine with paying for all of that? It's something my honey eats. And this is nothing. I'd like to get you everything you want to wear, eat, and drink, you know. And I'd also like to... It started again. I will cover my ears. No, Lance. It'll be faster to cover Yuri's mouth than your ears. I do not want to touch that mouth. What? That's the expression just now? Are you saying my mouth is dirty? Tsk, tsk, you have no idea how many women covet these lips. Cherry boys, tsk, tsk. Oh, I'm going to take care of what Master wears, eats, and drinks. Hm, fierce competition as always. It's so hard to see my honey these days because we go to school and come back home separately. If I'd known I'd be like this, I would have been a student. If I'm in my honey's class, I'd be able to see you every day. I'm sorry, I didn't predict this. I'd like to say no to that, being in the same class with you. That scares me. I suddenly imagined a creepy scene that gave me goosebumps. Endure Yuri's buttery words throughout the whole day? That's not the only problem. I won't be able to handle all the jealous gazes from the girls. Lance and Yunho are difficult as it is. Difficult? <sighs> I'm not complimenting, but you guys are really popular. You guys have no idea how many jealous looks I get for being close to you all. And if Yuri joins, going to the academy will be hell. Thankfully, Yunho's fans have decreased a bit. Ah. Uh, I rattled on my complaints and ended up saying more than I should. I peered at Yunho's face, but he didn't seem to mind. I feel more comfortable with no one around me. I like being able to talk to Master during recess. If I'm surrounded by people, I grow apart from Master. I don't like it. Yunho said indifferently. Yunho's fans decreased? What? Yellow. A justice warrior must always be at the center of people's attention. <laughs> I don't think I can be a justice warrior then. I think it's better to be quiet than to be uselessly noisy. Except, I don't think it's good to get too isolated. Lance said, worrying about Yunho too. But more than that, I never thought Lance would say such a thing. I thought he's the most isolated one. I was about to say something to Yunho too when the phone rang. Huh? Wait. It was a number I didn't know. I hesitated, but took the call. I ran towards the kitchen to be surrounded by silence and took the call. Hello? Airy? Mom, what's up? At this hour, isn't it night there? Where are you? I'm home, of course. I came home early because the exams ended today. Oh, that's lovely. But what's with the number? Oh, I'm calling from a telephone box, but I'm glad you're home. Then I can see you today. Oh, shit! What? Your dad and I have just arrived. Arrived? You mean you're here? Yes, we had to make a quick stop for a conference. The trip goes through Korea, so we decided to drop by for a while. It's been a while since we saw your face. Oh. My parents have suddenly come home. I remember the last time she called, she said she wouldn't be able to come for a while. I glanced at the living room. I thought it was quiet, and sure enough, all the boys were silent and listening to me. As usual, I'll send a cab over. Let's eat at the hotel restaurant. We can't leave the hotel because we have an early flight tomorrow. Oh, okay. All right. I'm used to mom sending a cab for me. When their schedule is tight, they stay at a hotel by the airport and stay put there. I reserved a table at the hotel restaurant, so hurry up. Okay. All right. It was a bit sudden, but that was how they usually are. Then see you later. Okay. See you later, Ari. I've changed her voice like several fucking times. <laughs> I don't even care at this point. She's just barely in the picture, and then all of a sudden she's there, and I'm like, wait, it's been too long since I last did a voice for this person. What was it? I can't remember. Fuck. New one. <laughs> and then it goes like that. Uh, it's been humorous, I'm sure. I wrote down the car number Mom told me and hung up the phone. Ugh. I was a bit nervous, so I sighed. Coming here all of a sudden. It was so like my parents. But I'm glad they can't come to the house. I would have been upset before. Such a strange change. Is it because the boys are with me? 
The boys in the living room were waiting for me to tell them about the call. I slowly explained everything. Everyone understood and told me to have a good time. I quickly got ready and was about to leave the front door when Yunho grabbed me. Master. Why? I... Yeah? I'd like to go too, but that'd be impossible, right? Oh, sorry. It's a family dinner, so I can't. Besides, if my parents see you, they'll be too surprised. Family dinner. Family. Are your parents precious to you? What? They're family. So the two... The two must be really precious to you. Of course. They are my parents. Yunho? Yunho stopped talking, but he was still holding on to my clothes. I told him, but I couldn't... But I could tell he still wanted to come with me. I felt a bit restless, since the car was about to come soon. Oi, kiddo. My honey's going to be late now. And if you clung on to her for everything, even an angel would feel uncomfortable. Okay, I know. I'm sorry for asking, Master. Oh, it's nothing. I felt you'd home get gloomy again, so I quickly thought of another subject. Oh, on my way home, I'll get ice cream. We'll eat it together when I come back. Oh, all right. Yunho's face brightened. I'll be waiting until you get back, so be careful. I'll worry if you're late. Okay, I'll come home as soon as I can. I said bye to the rest of the boys in the living room. Then I'll be back. Rest here. Be careful. Okay. Are they gonna turn back into dolls when I come back? Oh no! Please don't turn back into dolls when I come back. Don't do that. Please don't do that. Please, I don't want that. I don't want them to turn into dolls when I come back. That would be the worst. <sighs> you know what? I'm gonna leave it here because after that thought, th uh, after that thought, I would like to continue more, but it'd be more entertaining to be make it a cliffhanger and make you wait for, for however long I'm going to make you wait for. <laughs> ah, I'm evil. But I will see you in the next one, guys. Later!